Hey there, homespun friends. I wasn't going to do a video today. I said I was going to let you guys have a respite from me. You probably needed it, but you're not going to get one. Sorry. I had to stop in because I wanted you to see a couple things. Now, the reason that I'm whispering is because I'm babysitting my youngest grandchild. And she's in that room right over there, and she just fell asleep. Thank goodness. She's teething, and she has been so miserable. And when she gets ready to fall asleep, it's like it's amplified, you know, that pain, I guess. And I feel so terrible for her. So I had laid her down on a blanket underneath the ceiling fan because that's something that distracts her a little bit. And she fell asleep. And um, so I'll take you in there and let you see her in just a minute. But for right now, I want to show you something else that's new. Something new at my house. Another baby. I have a new baby. I'm going to let you take a look. This is my new baby. This is my new vacuum cleaner. Saturday morning when I got up to vacuum the house, the beater bar down there at the bottom, down this way, it just wouldn't work. And so my husband took it outside and he took it all apart and he tried to be a mechanic and he tried to figure it out and fix it. And it just, he just said he thought it, the motor was gone. So um, I ordered a new one and I ordered this one. This is a Hoover and I ordered it from Amazon. Since I'm a Prime member, I can get free two-day shipping. And um, I ordered this on Saturday night, and it's, their it's one of their best sellers. Um, it was a $79 vacuum I got for $44 and free shipping, and I ordered it right from my bedroom. I mean, you really can't beat that. And so I tried it out today. It came, let's see, it came to my carport yesterday evening. And so I tried it out this morning, and it really works good. It's not heavy. It's not heavy duty. It's more of a lightweight, but a good lightweight vacuum. I mean, it's a good medium core size. If I had super young children, a lot of children at home, you might need one to step up from this, but this is going to be perfect for us. And um, I like it because the weight of it is not too much for me. And then and here, remember, these are my bedroom shoes and they are sitting in my living room. Um, I was standing right here getting ready to... Um, to do this video and I just slipped those things off. Um, do you remember when I was in my bathroom, a, I don't know, it was a couple months ago I guess, and I spilt the glass nail polish bottle and it broke everywhere and I had red polish everywhere and I ruined my slippers? Well this is the new replacement right here. I mean I've had them for probably about six weeks and I'm really getting them broke in now. I love them. I love the polka dots on the bottom. So they're new. And this is new. Hey, do you guys want to name my vacuum cleaner? I always name my vacuum cleaners, and I thought it would be really neat if you guys could give me some suggestions for what I could name my new vacuum cleaner. So, leave it in the comments below. Also, tell me what kind of vacuum cleaner you have. I'd be curious to know. Uh, if you like a lightweight vacuum, or if you like, you know, some people have those, um, I forget what they call them, they call them Roombas or something, they go around the room and I don't have any of those fancy things. We just do the good old-fashioned vacuum cleaner, and I like it. I like old-fashioned pretty good. Now let me show you my baby. Oh, she's so cute. The light is not the best in here, y'all. But I'm going to show you anyway because she's an angel. She's going to take your breath away. Is that not the sweetest face it's ever been? And she's got some little piggy tails. They're kind of dark. But <laughs> Isn't she cute? She's so, so sweet. I love her. So that's what I'm doing, guys. I am in the process of making dinner. I am having lasagna. I'm having pear salads. And I'm having sweet peas. And I'm making, um, I'm making some garlic bread. That's what I'm having. And I'm in a terrible light. And I know you guys can't see me. So anyway, I'm just coming along after I said that I wasn't going to come along today. I'm here to say hello, and I'm also here as I leave to give a shout out to a couple people that I want to know, I want them to know that I'm praying for them. And one of them is Sandra. She recently had surgery. She's over in our scripture writing group, and she's been gone for a few days. And she um, had messaged me today or sent me a little post and said that, that she was in a lot of pain, but she is um, in recovery and getting better. So I'm praying for her goes my lasagna. And I'm also praying for Larissa, who has been sick. And I am uh, praying that, that the Lord will heal her and allow her to feel better. And I'm also praying for Abby Fultz. Now, Abby is a 15-year-old that 
follows my channel. She has a channel too. And um, and so her grandmother passed away and the funeral was this past weekend. And I know that was a sad time <clears throat> for Abby and her family. And I have been lifting them up to the Lord for peace and comfort. So those are the three people that I have been praying for today in addition to you guys, because even if I don't know exactly what's going on with you, I can rest assured that you always can use prayer and so can I. It is wonderful to see you today, friends. And maybe tomorrow I'll give you the day off and you can rest. See you next time. Bye-bye.